Remember in an earlier episode when I tested that CBD tea? Many people have the misconception that CBD makes you high. Many of you asked me some great questions. Is there actually a drug in there? If you take a drug test, will you test positive? Can it be used for pets? There are many more questions. Now I have the opportunity to ask those questions to Alex Match, the deaf business owner of CBD Tech here in Denver, Colorado. Do you have a background in chemistry? Yes, I'm a chemist. I actually have a degree in chemistry and I used to work in the pharmaceutical industry. Oh, medicine and drugs. Yes. It was my dream to discover a new drug, but I realized it's just geology. First off, how do we isolate the CBD? Well, we start to grow the plant, and then there is a list of things done in order. Then I extract the CBD and dispose of everything else, including the THC, until there is only CBD left. We go through a chemical process and I eliminate everything until the CBD is purified at 99.9%. .9%. There's nothing else there. There's no taste? None. Mm, no smell either? No. Mm, nothing, okay. CBD acts exactly like a vitamin. You can see all pure vitamins. They're the same thing. So many people have been asking if CBD needs to be legalized first. A lot of people thought CBD needs to get into states with a green zone where it's green friendly, but that's not true. A farm bill in 2014 got people confused. The federal government made a decision announcing that all 50 states can allow growth of hemp with 0.3% THC or less. The reason why that 0.3% threshold was established is because it was thought that hemp can get it to zero. But science proves it's impossible to have 0% THC. Really, all plants already have DNA inside them that guarantee a little bit of THC. So they label the 0.3% or less, which is considered hemp. Anything that is above 0.3 is considered to be marijuana. There are three different ways to ingest CBD. First is through a cream. Second way is via oral use through the stomach. And the third option is smoking through a vaporizer. I learned from studies that sometimes when you eat CBD, it won't help. Your body will reject it. A doctor will suggest you switch to a different approach to ingesting CBD, which is done through your lungs instead of your stomach. It's pretty rare to see CBD rejected in the stomach, but it does happen. They should be targeting one chemical called THC. You know, pot and hemp have countless chemicals, including THC, CBD, CBN, CBC, and much more. When it comes to drugs, only the THC chemical will get you high. So those drug tests will only look for the THC. It's best for your skin. Some say as a pain reliever, it acts like Icy Hot or Tiger Balm. It is designed to be a balm with CBD. It's like two in one. You can buy Icy Hot or you can buy a balm with CBD. A lot of people don't realize that there are laws related to that. I'd love to explain the different things that CBD can do, but since I own a company that sells these products, I can't explain the medical part of the process. It's best if you look online or ask doctors. Also, when it comes to that time of the month for women, there are lots of benefits. Doctors can be a good source to ask. Nutrition experts are another option. There are independent studies on the benefits of CBD as well as people who use CBD who have their own experiences to share. When it comes to vaping, you have to be 18 years or older to use vape products. There are no age restrictions for the CBD itself. You don't have to be 18. You could be two, four, or six years old and buy it. So, my dog has anxiety. I've noticed that he gets nervous easily, and people have said that CBD could be beneficial. So, when dogs take CBD, they won't feel high. 
No. They'll just relax. That's it. It's like a vitamin to them. You can give it to cats as well. I think I want to taste the lemon and the chocolate. Okay, okay. Okay, this one's lemon. Many people who take it may wonder what's inside. There are three ingredients: CBD, MCT, and lemon extract. That's it. What's MCT? MCT is coconut oil. Oh, so it's CBD, MCT oil, and lemon extract. It's not artificially flavored. Just for the flavor. It's real lemon extract. Hmm. Put a drop on your hand. Okay. Hmm. Tastes like lemon. It tastes good. There are people out there who still have a negative perception of CBD. When they think of CBD, they think of weed and getting high. But really, these are all natural products. We have a lot of work to do with educating people. How fascinating, right? I learned a lot today about different oils and rubs and a lot more. Alex is right. Many people who don't know much about CBD are skeptical. I wonder if all of you have learned more about CBD. How do you feel about it? Would you give it a try?